A super team to me is a team that gives me the feeling of how the f do you beat this team? Boston Celtics, man. Yeah, kind of super. Let me say this. Does this beg the question, though, because we're in a new era? And I think I think it is time for us to rethink a lot of, like, you know, commonplace basketball ideologies and stuff like that. Should we change what the criteria for a dynasty is or super team is, et cetera, et cetera? Because we do, this isn't going to be a league where, you know, the, the, the Atlanta Hawks need a fax machine. And so they're trading, you know, uh, the number one pick for a fax machine, right? And then the Lakers end up with uh, James Worthy. Like this, this, okay. is, this is not going to be this type of league anymore. So do we need to reconsider what, a dynasty is and a no, super team. no dynasty, no super team. Yeah, uh, but di dynasty, no, because dynasty, for example, when Bo when Bezos brings up two out of four rings, that sounds like some dynasties. Um, and then on top of that, how are they losing? If the Celtics go ring, finals loss, conference finals loss, ring, I'm calling that. That sounds like they were a huge team to deal with for four straight years. But at the same time. If they go uh, ring first round exit, first round exit finals team, that's like two entirely different scenarios. So I don't think the definition of a dynasty needs to change. I think those that's something that's pretty objective, damn like damn near objective rather than subjective that we could easily define. However, um, when it comes to super team, and I guess we'll go back to what B Souls was talking about earlier. Hey man, I don't. I don't know if the if the generation and the idea of what makes teams good and what um what player movement is involved for our league and um um GM narratives all this other bullshit that I'm yapping about is going to change. I think it's more than fair enough to say the definition of a super team changes from three all stars to super team, and that's where I go to. Hey man, if we're gonna have a new definition for it, the Boston Celtics, man. They might be in. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, kind of super. <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas, kind of, y'all niggas, a kind of super, bro. Let me ask you this: twenty-two, Boston loses. Mm -hmm. Twenty-three, they don't make it. Twenty-four, they win. Twenty-five, they lose. Twenty-six, they they lose in the conference finals. Finals. That's important. Mm -hmm. So twenty-two, they make it. They lose. Finals so, lose. 20, 23, they don't make it. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four, they win it. 25, they make it either to the conference finals or the finals, and they lose. Mm. And then 26, they win. Is that a dynasty? I wouldn't call it a dynasty at that point because at that point, while as strong as they were, they, they've they shown more often than not to not be able to close. Like, like when we're talking two out of four in the, in the way that I described earlier, sure. But when we're talking about two out of six, in some of those times, it's That's clearly fine. seen as like, Oh, you named five? I thought it was six. Five, five years. Only one of them, they don't make it to either the conference finals conference or finals. finals. <sighs> and matter of fact, y'all consider Miami say, a dynasty? That's going to say ass, but like that, that kind of, well, for and me. And that was, was like so that huge. was going to be the other question I have. Let's say instead of 24, they win, 25, they win, 26, they lose, a la Miami. Is that mm -hmm. a dynasty? Bezos, I would say yes. And I think a lot of people do consider Miami to be a dynasty. Yeah, I think I think the big three heat definitely was a dynasty. Um, it was a short term dynasty or whatever, but um, I don't even think that's like a, a Mickey definition of it. There was LeBron, D Wade, and Chris Bosch essentially saying fuck the East for four years straight. So so I think I think that was very strong. And especially considering the four losses that that Miami Heat team had were all in the final. I mean, the two I mean, fuck, the, the the two and two were all in the finals. They had four finals appearances. I think that's very easy to to call. Now, for me, that one year that Boston don't even make it out to the, to the fucking conference finals, that's kind of going to be a huge anchor where the discourse would be. But I would say they were... They were definitely serious players. Dynasty would be very debatable. I don't, I don't know if I would call them a dynasty, to be fair. Miami... They're closer to no than yes. I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm, I'm just mm -hmm. thinking of what dynasty, like concrete dynasties are. Bill Russell Celtics. After that, Magic Lakers, okay. Bird Celtics. Why? Three three rings over a ten eight ten period time span, made it to multiple finals, ran the East. Maybe it's three. I don't know. It, it sounds arbitrary, but three rings is <laughs> may, maybe that's. No, Two is just, eh. but, that's, but that's what I was going to ask you. Is three that magic number? 
because I, Bert, Bert and them were going to be the literal definition of what I was going to say, and then Shaq and Kobe would be next. And then to come down yeah, from it, somebody asked Kobe Gasol, Lakers. Um, Shaq and Kobe dynasty, b -Souls? I would say so. I, I, again, maybe it's Mickey that three is my magic number. But to me, dynasty is just complete dominance for over uh, a relatively long period of time span. Like winning two rings is dominated for two years, in, in my opinion. But three, three is a long ass time to me. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I see where you're coming from. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. I, I see where you're coming from. Bro. I know not, it's just I'm one. Not, I know yeah. it's just one. I'm but, not yeah. but what's the, what's the three? Three, three in what? Because then I would ask you, okay, y'all get two back to back. First year, for me, Sage, uh, B Souls, we get on the team, we get two back to back. Boom, right off the hat. Not the next year, not the next year, not the next year. That's already three years where we don't win it. Not the next year, not the next. When can I stop and win a <laughs> ring for you to be like, okay, that's a dynasty? That's actually a good question. Uh, three years. Four four year gap most. There you go. Mm. Four year gap most. Yeah, you really by, gotta by, be by year Damn. five. It's like, damn, it's been four fucking years, bro. Like, you don't is it still even the same team at all? I, also, in this era, I would be very like, uh, what you call it? I'd be very surprised if I see a core together in their like mid twenties to their thirties for like six, seven, eight years too. That might be. That's why I don't think it's I, going yeah. to happen, and that's why I said they're likely not a dynasty. But um, if this Boston Celtics score were to stay together, let's say let's give them let's give them a fresh slate. They win, they lose, they win, and then they lose. But all four in the finals, I value the fact that you basically said fuck the most parody era of NBA history in NBA history. I'm sorry, and like swept through the East every time. It's just a matter of did you beat the team in the West that came out. I think, but you can I be an East counts, Dynasty but... without being a League Dynasty, I guess is my thing. Like you can be a Dynasty. Like, same thing with Miami. Same thing with Miami. Like they were a Dynasty in the East, but League wide were they? I don't know. Like I think the Pistons in the um 2000s, they only won one ring in 04, but I, I think they made it to what was they it four or five straight finals. Eastern Conference Finals? Is the two finals NBA Finals? Me, I'm talking say about the... NBA Finals. Like you bitched your conference. Like for example, oh my God, this they is, made it to oh, two. Right? This is gonna sound like. Yeah, but but they ain't made it to four. <laughs> that's not, like that's what I'm saying. The same way you were two and three. I'm talking about like four straight finals is crazy. On top of that, this is gonna sound like dick suck, but we may all agree. This nigga LeBron James, for example, I'd call him a dynasty. Like this nigga LeBron literally said, Yeah, Eastern Conference, you're my bitch. And then he went to the West and immediately made it out of there. It, granted, the one season where he wasn't healthy. So I don't know. I don't know. I I, I would just say. I think also it, it may matter who you lose to. If it's on some Jerry West shit, maybe like, and no disrespect to the legend, but if you lose to the Lakers every single time, like you keep losing to that same team, then it's cool. I, that's when I would question it. But say like the Celtics come out and they lose to the Warriors. All right, Warriors drop out. Then next up, the Nuggets. All right, they lose to the Nuggets. Nuggets get a little older, they drop out. Now they're losing to... The Thunder, they're losing to the Mavs. You're losing to somebody different every single time. You're dominating your conference, but you're losing slash getting some wins in with new opponents every single time. I mean, if y'all want to call us a dynasty, oh, okay. I All right, you're a dynasty. <laughs> whoa, whoa, put the gun down. I, I flagrantly said that. that <laughs> no, whoa, whoa. Guys, springtime is sprung, and that means America's pastime is here. Grab you a Frank, grab you a beer, and head on over to Prize Picks and play daily fantasy sports. Make sure you download the app or head over to the website. I see Mookie bets two and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. I'm gonna go more naturally, and then I'm gonna go Kyle Harrison more on hits allowed. I'm gonna place my money in my entry. Let's go column ten, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit place entry. And thanks to our friends over at Prize Picks. If you guys use code LKIB, you guys can get a hundred percent match on your first deposit of up to $100 and hopefully you can win some money as well if you really know baseball or basketball or really any sport you want to play. Links to everything will be in the description down below and shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this podcast. That's now, it. what I did call you, since, since you want to go back and play Uno, <laughs> I did call you a super team. I'm going to go ahead and break that down, gangy. I'm sorry. You think Taylor's in the top 10? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We didn't, yeah. yeah. You think uh, Jalen Brown's in the top 10? No. 
Top fifteen. Twenty. 20. Okay. 20, 25. So, so you got so you got 10 and 20. I don't I don't got a list off top. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You got 10 and 20. Uh Derek White. You think that's like a damn good guy? You know, probably top 50. Mid, top 50. Okay. Uh KP. When healthy, top 50. Okay. Type shit, type shit. Drew. Top 50. Type shit, type shit, type shit. Big Al, never a little one. Uh 70, 80. Okay. I would coach, argue. Coach, 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 coach. coach oh, yeah, coach. yeah. You think your coach? Like top good, 10. great, good, great elite top, top 10. 10. Okay. And then uh, front office. <laughs> top three. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to lie. You named a lot of shit that I can go down and be a history even. Not a lot of people can say what you said. I ain't going to lie. Not a lot of people can say, oh, yeah, we for sure got 10, 20. But then if you don't like 10 and 20, yo, we are like comfortably got three players all in the top 50. Especially when we factor in defense alone, probably got three, maybe four all NBA defenders on the team. And then even the latter half of the team, when we get to the uh, big owls, uh, I don't know how some of you guys feel about Sam and Luke or whatever. That's none of my business. But at that point, yo, I'm, I'm just saying y'all team deep as shit. And even if they were only seven deep per se, it's like in 2K terms, you got like, 282s, like 485s, and 290s. I don't know, bro. I, I, don't, what, I don't what, know, is the, bro. what is a super team to you? A super team to me is a team that gives me the feeling of how the fuck do you beat this team? I know that's arbitrary as shit, but I think over the course of history, that's been the consistent because I also think it does change over era. So, like, when Miami formed and we saw Chris Bosh, D-Wade, and LeBron, everyone was like, how the fuck do you beat this team? That to me is a super team. The 08 Celtics, when they formed that big three, Go how the fuck do you beat this team? Um, oh, really 04 nice. Pistons, when they got uh, Carl Malone and Gary Payton, how the fuck do you beat this team? Now, they ended up losing, yeah. but how the fuck do you beat this team? That was a failed one, for sure. Um, I think the 2013 Lakers, how the fuck do you beat right, this team? With you, the- what you mean? <laughs> no, 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 back to back. <laughs> Both Laker teams, you good? I'm, right. just, I'm just bringing up teams. Uh, Let's see. The 21 Nets. The 21 Nets when they got James Harden. What? Ah, you might have missed me. You uh, might have okay. missed me. You might have missed me. Uh, a, these are these are failed super teams. That's what I'm saying. Me, 21 okay, Nets are me, failed super me, teams. Me, I, the, only reason, the only reason why I say that is because it's, there's a good amount of teams where that you just named where it wasn't like that. Like, there was there was a way to beat Miami. I know niggas was gawking it. And this ain't even hindsight. But they just, they just lack depth and they lack key players like they had three and the four was haslam uh and the in the 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 one was actually they didn't have a one they were they were scratching and reaching and they were they were reaching for a one super bad it ended up being hell it didn't even end up being mario chalmers that first year if i'm not mistaken and then the five they got big z big z really didn't end up working whatever the case may be i don't i'm how, how I'm, many teams in that air do you genuinely think could have beat the the heat the heat in 12 Cause I, I also think like the the eighty Celtics and Lakers are super teams, even though like one could beat the other. You know what I'm saying? Like you can throw the Pistons in there. Twenty twelve. I know. I know. The reason why I'm saying that is I'll, I'll answer that question for y'all. I think for me, it's probably the Spurs, and it might stop there. I can't lie. Like the 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 Mavs to me was respect to them. It was LeBron not being LeBron in seven games. Yeah, I'm not gonna bullshit you. <laughs> Let me look at it. Oh, I'm at if, if you want to say the Thunder, okay, you can throw the Thunder in there. Spurs, the Lakers. Thunder, Lakers, yes, Chicago. You okay. see. Oh, wait, wait these are predictions. Why are these predictions? I bet are we talking about 11, 10, 11? No, uh, 11, 12. Yeah. Okay, 11, 12. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, because we're, t- we're talking about single years at this point with the Celtics because y'all want to say they're super team last year, right? It's just I think – um, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I don't – last year, nah, y'all weren't super team. I think there's another Yeah, so if, if we're just talking about peak Miami then, we would agree peak Miami is a super team. So let's, let's just do 2012. I don't think 2012 peak Miami. I think 2012 was 
peak window for Miami. I think the 2013 roster, I'm going to double check that, but I think the 2013 roster was better than 2012. Just 2012, I mean, it was a weird year anyway, but I think 2012 was like. You want to say 2013, that's, that's fine too. Yeah, I was I like, like 2012 comp was kind of chilled, year was kind of weird, and it was just a good window for them to get it done. But I'm, I'm yeah, pretty sure I think the 2013 roster the West was, was asked. The West was asked, and they kind of, I think things like kind of got back to where it needed to be in the West. Because the next year, yeah, the West gets a little bit more compy. I, I, I can, I can understand what I can understand what you're saying. Uh, I just remember when they formed. You said specifically, you said when they formed. So I was thinking about when they formed. Yeah, when they but formed, even 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 in that era, I mean, I, I would still say it's just the Spurs, maybe the Thunder, maybe the the, the Lakers in those but first even, two. But years. even the same, even the same thing that you're saying now, I would say the same thing for Boston, like now. Okay, so I, I just say I, I just said one team that could. Surefire, give them a shot, and I'm talking about two other teams that maybe you're talking about the the Celtics right now. I think Denver is that that Spurs team for them. Did y'all not think that any other team could legitimately like, and I'm like legitimately give them a a, a run for their money? I'm talking about like four or five teams in in the NBA right now this year. I think it's a um for for me for me. I see where you're going with this. I think it's a the. A uh, testament to the parody thing, styles make fights kind of thing that's going on today. That, that I'm not saying it never was a case, but I am saying it's definitely more um, prevalent now versus, oh, yeah, this player is just going to oar you out of the series no matter what makes sense or not. I think that's the biggest difference there. Um, while I'm yapping, I do think the 2013, I'm looking at it right now. I don't even think I know it was better. Um, this was the team that had that crazy win streak. This is the team that has Ray Allen on it. This is the team that didn't need to start. Um, what's his name? Joel Anthony. <laughs> it didn't need Joel Anthony out there all the time. Yeah, this is definitely the better uh, roster. So when I'm looking at the 2013 playoffs, I'd say I think we all agree that um, Spurs. I hope nobody really disagrees with that. Mm-hmm. Um, after the Spurs. Uh, the Bulls were clearly not the same. I think OKC definitely was there as well. Then if you were a fan of Lob of uh, what's Lob City around me? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If you, yeah, if you were a fan of the Clippers, I hear you, but I think that's a reach. I think it was probably just OKC and San Antonio versus the Heat. So okay, I'm so- saying today, uh, let me let me just rat off some teams. Do y'all think this team could give give the Celtics a run for their money? If not beat them. Before you before you go, and this is what I'm gonna say because I think this will answer it just as a general thing. I think it matters what portion of the season you are asking this question in. At the beginning of the season, the only team in the West that anybody thought had a legitimate shot of de- dethroning or competing with the Celtics was Milwaukee in the, me- in the middle East. of the yes, in the East. In the okay. middle of the season, that was debunked. That was literally debunked. There was no shot that anybody could compete with uh, Boston at all. By that mm-hmm. time, Julius Randle was hurt. The Knicks had no answers. They it really weren't even a thought. Milwaukee mm-hmm. was like we we're trying to like they were going through the Adrian Griffin uh, Doc Rivers fiasco. Uh, what's his name was hurt off of Cleveland. Like there was no answer. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Joel and B. Joel and B. Had already been you know a little wishy washy if I'm not mistaken, or that was around the time where he started to get hurt. Uh, Miami never really got it together. At that point in time, Miami, I mean, the East was like done. It was a wrap. You would have to come to the West. We could say Denver. We could say OKC. We could say Minnesota. Everybody else? Nah. A nigga like me would have said the Lakers, but I'm a Lakers fan. So take now, that. Again, yeah, I'm about to say. Him. Yeah, I'm about to say. That's take them. that. Take that there. Um, I think the Lakers... And I'm not I'm not even trying to be on some debunky shit because I do see where Bezos is coming from in his argument. And I'm gonna be fair. There's gonna be a couple of teams in the West that I'd say that people said would win. But when it comes to the Lakers, I think that's the one team that we can't count here because everyone's gonna say something good about it. I think it's like everyone's gonna do it. Now even do they mean it? I don't know. Count it, even if you count it though, again, are we if we're talking about at the beginning of the season, I'll give you the Lakers. Middle of the season, I cannot give you the Lakers. I think I unironically can't. funny enough to get my Laker fandom off. We actually do like not not matchup nightmare, but we actually do have a one counter for them, which is just a rim run the fuck out of the paint. So maybe yeah. 